Okay, so we've got our wheels drawn, and you'll see that that new sketch is showing up here down in the timeline. You can also see your sketches if you expand the sketches icon under your browser, and you can see there's the sketch that we drew the car in, and there's the second sketch where we drew those wheels. So what we're going to do is we're going to extrude the wheel wells. To do that, we go to Create and Extrude. And we can come down. Let's try that again. Create, Extrude. There we go. And I can click in the wheel wells, like so. Now, by default, it wants to make a solid wheel well. And that's not what we want. We're not making the wheels right now. We're just making the place where they're going to go. So instead of making them solid, I'm going to turn this the other way. And you'll see instead of blue, it's gone to a, a red look and it's cutting. But we want to make sure under operation, we've got cut. If we change that back to join, you can see how it makes a solid piece. Intersect, it's only going to make the part that's intersecting. But we want to change that back to cut. So there's cut. There we go. So that's cutting in. And I've got this set to negative 10. If I click OK, now I've got the wheel wells at negative 10. Now, we've got the cut extrusion in. Let's take a look at how we can mirror these to the other side. Under Create, we've got a command called Mirror. If I click on Mirror, first thing it wants is faces. So I, I need to click on the faces that I want to mirror. So I've clicked on the round bits and that flat back bit. Now I need to select my mirror plane. So I click on select and I can click that new mirror plane that I made, or sorry, that new work plane. Click on that, rotate it around and you'll see it's kind of giving us a preview on the other side. If I click OK, now those wheel wells have showed up on the other side of the car.